Order! Welcome back everybody to your night guide video for Vigo, the knight that is working for the United Islands of Morelva in the game Brigandine, the Legend of Runeresia. So let's talk about him a little bit today here. Uh, he can be a pretty decent knight, to be honest, but he is a bit of a project knight. So let's talk about him a little bit. He is, as you see, he's a grappler, but he does start as a monk. I have classed him up a little bit, so you know, kind of have to see him like this. But as you can see, even in the class of being a grappler, look at his growth. It's it's at B. That's pretty decent for the second tier class to be in B. Uh, command range is at three, so it's not that good with command range, but the growth is pretty decent. So I'd say they kind of offset each other a little bit there. Uh, we got a mobility of five, and you know this can kind of be determined based upon what type of class you are as well. But uh, you know, looking at stats, the only real negative stat that we can really say right now is, is intelligence is at 50, and uh, maybe that could be a little bit higher. But you know, depends on how you grow and all that. You can also put on other gear that can offset that as well. But uh, this knight, he starts in the monk class, which if you're kind of new to the monk class in this game is a little bit different than how the original game was. It's sort of a mix between the, uh, um, what is it, the, the monk and the grappler class uh, from Grand Edition and the original Legend of Forcina. It's sort of a combination of them. They kind of combine different elements. So a little bit different. But um, if you want to, like, I would recommend if you're not familiar with the monk, you don't know if you want to do the monk, get them through some of the grappler stuff, proficiency in that, and maybe move to a berserker or move to a knight or something like that. You could have make a pretty good guy this way. I've tried him a few different ways, and uh, whichever way I go, he still becomes really, really good, really proficient with whatever I want to make him into. So... Once you've got the, the first skill done with the monk, it gives you an accuracy up B. Now it's up to A because he's grappler. But uh, B does increase accuracy of 10% or 5%, I mean, not the 10% you're seeing here. And uh, it's pretty good. It you know He has 67 agility, which is all right, but it's, it's kind of good uh, for knights of this level. Plus the extra accuracy, it means that you're going to be able to hit things. And hitting things means that you can do damage and, you know, win and all that, which is very good. So let's move over here. There's a couple extra things here um, that you're going to see here. Uh, breaking blow, <clears throat> just a normal attack and all that. And it just kind of does the attack. It's got a 10% boost to accuracy. And Thief's Uppercut does as well, but Thief's Uppercut is... You use 30 MP and uh, you gain some M you gain some HP back so this is really really new to the whole monk thing it's sort of like a vampirism thing but you use some MP to get it back um, but you do damage the enemy you don't suck the hit points off the enemy it just it's based upon the amount of damage that you do to the enemy is how much hit points you'll get back. So the stronger the punch, the more HP you'll get back. Essentially that's what that is. So that's pretty cool. And if you want to make him a full monk and go that way, you can and do that sort of thing. Here's another skill. I believe this is what you get when you become a grappler though. And this is fighting focus increases your attack for a limited number of turns. Okay. Alright, Vigo is a male, 34 class grappler but it'll say he starts as a monk initially and his background is quiet and laid back the muscle man of mermaid Ginny's pirate crew can usually be found packing up the cargo the ship's cargo but when he takes to the battlefield he will knock foes down with powerful physical blows gained from his many petty fights his favorite part of winning a battle is the banquet thrown afterwards and this is perhaps his main reason for fighting while Vigo does enjoy dancing during banquets, gorging on food is his main activity. 
as a result he has a tendency to put on weight well he is a bit of a cannon so yeah I guess I guess that's uh you know there's some truth to that so that is Vigo uh, honestly if you want a decent project night I'd say Vigo is a pretty good project night um, if you want a kind of a medium challenge not very easy not hard he's kind of the middle of the road project knight that you could level up and he'll become something pretty decent something pretty good the only thing is you got to worry about command range so if you have problems with that there's pills and potions you can find by questing or items you can give to him that can increase the command range and kind of put him on to the uh you know the medium shelf of most of the other decent knights in Morelva. so that's all i have for you today thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me if you enjoy this kind of content please leave a like and subscribe that helps the channel grow but uh yeah move on to the next night guide video and uh that'll be fun so thanks everyone and i'll see you later